Today we're going to be talking about the top five places to live near Eglin Air Force Base. And stay tuned to the very end because I do have one extra bonus place. So I guess we're doing the top six places to live near Eglin Air Force Base. Let's get started. If you're new here and you're new to me, my name is Rick Gonzalez and I make videos all about living here in the Florida Panhandle. I'm a local real estate agent. I've been doing this for over 10 years and I have helped a bunch of people make better decisions when buying or selling real estate here on the Emerald Coast. So go ahead and click that subscribe button, click the little bell so that you're notified every time we drop a new video. There's a good chance we're gonna answer some of your questions and talk about areas that you're interested in. Okay, so the first area we're gonna talk about today is a blend of about five uh, cities uh, that's gonna include Fort Walton Beach, uh, Mary Esther, Shalimar, Ocean City, and Wright. The reason why I'm clumping all of these places together is, to be quite honest, as you're driving through town, you don't realize when you go from one to the other, it's very undefined. Um, so ever since I moved here in 1989, I've just called it all Full Walton Beach. So the upside of this area is if you look on a map from the gate of Eglin Air Force Base to the gate of Herbert Field is where all this happens. So you're smack dab in between both bases making it super convenient. Um, I know service members that have been stationed at Eglin, and then when they PCS, they PCS to Herbert, never have to move, kids don't change schools. Um, so there is a, a, an upside to, to this area. It's very well established. You've got all of your dining and shopping needs. You're super close to the beach. Obviously the beach is one of the biggest uh, benefits of, of being stationed down here in the Panhandle. So the beach is super close, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Um, the only real downside for me is the the traffic. It's a little congested, so expect to to drive, you know, um, and, and be stuck in traffic most of the time. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about Atlanta traffic, just traffic for here. Um, so it's all relative. It's really not that bad. Okay, the next area we're going to be talking about is Navarre. So now if we're looking at the map, we're going to go a little further west of Herbert Field, uh, before you get to Gulf Breeze and Pensacola, and this is Navarre. A lot of people like Navarre because you are super close to the beach. Um, it's really just a long stretch of, of Highway 98. It's kind of like a big sandbar. Um, the downside to this, especially if you're at Eglin, is going to be going to and from work every day. You have to pass by the Herbert Field main gate. So all of the airmen that are going to, to work on Herbert that traffic you're going to, you're going to have to sit through, um, which from what I'm being told is, is not as much fun as you might think. <laughs> so, um, but again, you know, they've got the conveniences down there. It's established. If you're coming here and hoping to enjoy the beach, it's really not a bad option. But again, it's going to depend on where exactly you're stationed, where your shop is, what shift you're working, uh, because sitting in that traffic on Highway 98 can be a bit of a bear. Okay, the third place we're gonna talk about today is one of the ones that I get the most questions about, and that is Niceville, Florida. Um, the schools, I think, are the big driving force between everybody asking um, about homes in, in Niceville when they come down here. Um, the Niceville High School, uh, they were my, my rival when I was in high school, um, but the, the Niceville schools have got a fantastic reputation They've got good programs. They've got ROTC. They've got a great sports program. Um, you're always seeing, you know, football, baseball, track. All of these guys are always doing very well. Um, and so I think a lot of the people want the schools for their kids. Um, and then also Niceville is just a, a, a nice place to be. Uh, it's good location. Uh, you're just outside the east gate of Herbert Field. You've got a straight shot north. Uh, to I-10 and Crestview if you're trying to get out of town. And then to the south, you're a short drive across the Mid-Bay Toll Bridge to get to Destin and uh, Destin Commons and the beaches and everything that the tourists enjoy doing over there. So the uh, fourth place we'll talk about today is Crestview. Now Crestview is the furthest away from the beach that we're gonna go today, uh, but it's still one of the very popular places that I get requests about uh, when I'm talking to incoming military members. Um, now, keep in mind, right now as I'm recording this in 2021, the housing market has completely lost its mind. Um, but typically when uh, people are thinking about Crestview, it's because you can get much more house for your money. Um, so your dollar goes a lot further. 
it's a little bit of a drive. Again, depending on where you're stationed, um, it's close to 7th Group. Uh, so I know a lot of the Army guys uh, live up in Crestview. It's, it's much closer to them. If you're here at Maine, uh, Eglin, uh, it is a little bit of a drive. And I will tell you, I may have mentioned the traffic a few times, but I haven't sat in worse traffic than when I'm showing homes in Crestview. It drives me nuts. So if you are not a patient person, uh, just keep in mind the traffic in Crestview can get super bad and you will need to uh, work on your Woosa. 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 Work on your pressure points and, and staying calm because traffic in Crestview is bad. They do have one of the uh, coolest coffee shops. Uh, one of my favorites, Casbah Coffee. If you ever find yourself in Crestview, you definitely go in, check it out. Great coffee, great pastries, great breakfast, sandwiches, the whole nine yards. Casbah Coffee, five stars. The fifth place we're going to talk about today is my town where I'm currently living, of uh, Freeport, Florida. Now, in years past, Freeport hasn't even been in the conversation uh, when people are moving to the area because there really wasn't much here until about five years ago. Um, now, Freeport, which is in Walton County, is one of the fastest growing cities in one of the fastest growing counties in the state of Florida. Um, I believe I read somewhere that we're the sixth fastest growing county in the country right now, which is insane. But anyways... Um, if you're looking on a map, we are about the same distance from Eglin as Crestview is. So if you are okay with the drive from Crestview, you should be okay with the drive from Freeport. Um, the traffic's not quite as bad, although to get to Eglin right now, it is just a two lane highway on Highway 20. So sometimes you may find yourself behind a soccer mom in a, in a minivan, no offense, soccer moms, or, you know, uh, Farmer Bob and his tractor and you know it can get a little sporty but i say that to say most everybody 99.9% .9 of everyone i know who is active duty who lives here and is stationed at eglin or eod school is completely okay with the drive because of the benefit of living out here in freeport being kind of away from all the the hustle and bustle it's a much smaller town much quieter and the added bonus of we're just 20 minutes north of the beach, no toll bridge for our bridge. So 20 minutes south, you can be on scenic Highway 30A with all of the million dollar homes and condos and the beautiful beaches of South Walton. So uh, keep that in mind when you're deciding on, on where you may want to live when you come to Eglin. And of course, the bonus, the last place we'll mention, it's kind of an honorable mention, but you can't really talk about the Panhandle of Florida without mentioning Destin. Uh, Destin is always in one of the top uh, places uh, to visit because it's a huge tourist destination. So if you like uh, golf and, and deep sea fishing and beaches and all that kind of beachy stuff, Destin is definitely the place to be. So you could live in Destin. Although, again, if you look at a map, Destin is, is really about as far away from the base as you can get because between the base and Destin is the Choctaw Bay, so you have to go all the way around one way or the other to get to Destin. Um, so you can either pay a toll or you can go through the Full Walton Beach area. Either way, it's going to be a little bit of a hike. But again, if the lifestyle when you're not at work is more beachy, if you want to be able to live that lifestyle while you're here and you're okay with extending your commute to work, then Destin may be a great fit. Guys, thank you so much for watching uh, the video. I hope you got some value out of it. We are gonna be doing some videos going more in depth in each of these areas. Uh, we'll be talking about home prices, cost of living, uh, best places to go eat, that type of thing. So stay tuned. If you got something out of the video, please consider subscribing. Click the little bell so that you're notified every time I drop a new video. We'll see you next time.